Hello folks and welcome to Max Thrust RC. What are we doing today? Well, I figured I'd send up my Estes Big Daddy, which you can see here, it's got quite a jazzy paint job, up on an AP motor, that's ammonium perchloride, which is the same stuff they use in the solid rocket boosters of the Space Shuttle. It's also the same stuff I use for my high power rocketry. Well now I've got a 24mm uh, motor mount rocket, I couldn't help but get the smallest AP hardware they sell. To give you an idea of the scale, here's the casing against my finger. So yeah, as you can see, it's really awesomely tiny. Uh, Pro 24, uh, one grain case, as you can see on here, and this is the rear closure for it. Um, that goes in the back here, you can see the threads so it's going to be wicked fun sending up Big Daddy on a little 24mm motor. It's going to be an E-powered motor, so we should be getting a reasonable performance. Let's have a look at it. Right, so here's the motor I'm going to be using. It's a Cesaroni Pro 24 one grain. It's the white thunder propellant. It's an E-motor, 31 average uh, newton seconds in thrust, 26 total, which means about 0.7 seconds of a burn and a 15 second adjustable delay. It's going to look really cool going up on this E and it's uh, such a novelty as well uh, to be putting uh, an AP motor this size in, uh, in the Big Daddy. It's going to be good. And I'd like to thank Rockets and Things for providing this motor. Uh, please do check out the website, click the link right here, and they've got you covered for your mid, low, and high-powered rocketry. Right, let's put this thing in the rear end of the rocket and send it on its way. All right, folks, here we are out at the pad. Obviously, I've flown this on a black powder motor before, and now we're going to send it up on ammonium perchloride, AP, so... It'll be interesting to see how it flies on an e-motor, should be good. I can't wait, so let's get on with it. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, Estes Big Daddy flying on an E31 White Thunder, launching in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay folks, here we are, this is where she landed, and as you can see the parachute didn't really deploy that well, but I think the uh, flame retardant rag did most of the uh, retardation of the uh, descent, and in a way it's a good that it didn't because it ended up pretty close to this bush. So I'll get it back to base and we'll see uh, what we managed to get. Okay folks, here you can see we're back at base and she's here in one piece, Big Daddy. And man, that was fun. It was everything an ammonium perchlorite motor should be. It was loud and fast. Yeah, it looked really good. It's still got that tendency to arc off to the left. It must be something to do with the way the launch lug interacts with the launch pad as it's leaving. So I've learned that now. Uh, nonetheless, we still had a pretty entertaining flight. Uh, the Apogee was at 545 feet, we reached 158 miles an hour, which is pretty good, and uh, yeah, the parachute didn't um, deploy uh, in a textbook manner, it didn't really unfold and inflate, so it had a descent speed there of uh, 19 miles an hour, and there was only uh, about a one and a half second delay between Apogee and the uh, recovery system deploying. Uh, you really want about 12 miles an hour, keeps things nice and gentle. As a result, uh, there is a small amount of damage on this fin here, but uh, right there. But it's uh, nothing to worry about, really. Well, that was good fun. Uh, here you can see the uh, spent motor. 
yeah that uh, worked absolutely perfectly and uh, yeah gave us some pretty good footage so that is all for now i hope you enjoyed that uh, quick little flight i certainly did and uh, i also hope you stay tuned for more and if you like my content please do hit that subscribe button as it does mean a lot to me that's all from max thrust rc for now and i'll see you next time